And if you're just waking up, yes, there was another fire on the eastern shore late last night. As Accomack County residents grow more and more frustrated. State police confirm the fire is suspected to be arson and it happened in the Cashville area of Onancock. 10 on your side had a crew on the scene. Our Liz Palka is picking up the story now from our newsroom. Liz? Katie and Don, one thing people keep remarking on, Eastern Shore history has been burned to the ground in these fires. Three nights ago, we had the Whispering Pines Motel. Two nights ago, a former restaurant, now an old school from the early 1900s. Just as they have the whole time, residents ask, what will be next? Structure fire reported abandoned structure. It's become a nightly event. Fire crews race to the scene, most likely knowing what they'll find. And it's just a matter of time that knowing what's been going on that this was going to happen. And also knowing what they won't find, a suspect. A powerful fire devoured this building on Cashville Road. Emery Hurst lives near it. He tells us it was for storing farm equipment. Before that, it was an old Cashville schoolhouse. My grandmother went to school here. And she was born in 1904. Yet another Accomack County landmark, full of history, reduced to nothing. And it still had the old blackboards that were painted. Eastern Shore firefighters have fought nearly 70 fires since November. State police say all are being investigated as arson. And this dude is burning things and no remorse, none whatsoever. No concern for others. They say this person has no respect for the people who live near these abandoned buildings. Knowing where I live at, I've got six or seven abandoned. You've got to be thinking about other people. It's a lot of people in financial bad shape around here. Now Hearst and others want to breathe that collective sigh of relief. They want this person caught. Well, it would help a lot of people sleep a lot better. It really would, because you never know. After spending time in Accomack County the other day, many people are saying someone has to know something. Maybe they've noticed someone leaving late at night or acting suspicious. They're confident the person will be caught, but they need someone to come forward with the information. In the newsroom, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.